Those little ducks are just soaking up the water. We put a stone in their water dish in case they climb in there. It'll give them a place to step out and put that over at the side so that they can climb out. They're going to make a wet mess, so we have them in a plastic container for now. Of course, they're going to need a lot more room to spread out, but initially we just want to get some water and food into them. We have a feeder for the ducks, and they're chowing down already. This is how baby ducks sleep. I've already changed their water twice. It needs to be changed again. Granted, it's a very small bowl, but can you imagine what they'd do with a big bowl? Everything in there is soaking wet. They are rowan ducks. They look like mallards in their coloring, but they're a larger breed than mallards. I have a bigger pan of water for the ducklings, so there was enough for them during the night, but it's gross. Looks like pea soup. So I've got to change that right away. Those little ducklings are close to twice as big as the biggest chickens. They're growing so fast. Hi ducklings! You guys get to go out again tomorrow. You doing all right in there? Yeah, you've got a lot of company now. Look at these happy little chicks. This is how we transport the ducklings in a five gallon bucket. They're almost too big though, so we're going to have to come up with a different plan for taking them from the chicken coop to their temporary cage outdoors. They're, they'll be three weeks old tomorrow. This is the setup we have for the ducklings. Of course it's temporary as they grow. Pretty soon they won't need to be in a cage because they'll be big enough so that cats won't catch them and eat them. But it is labor intensive. I have to put them in a bucket and transport them in and out morning and night. But it's worth it as long as they're safe and they seem quite happy. I have a kiddie pool for them that we're going to use when we put them out in the chicken yard. It's a big day for the ducklings. It's May 30th. They are three and a half weeks old and they are outgrowing their cage, which is a great problem because it means soon we'll release them out of the cage. They will be sharing space with the guinea fowl. The ducklings don't know quite what to think of the guineas. I think that's a mutual sentiment how big they are at three and a half weeks. Here they come. <laughs> Their mouths are so dirty. They keep digging down into the dirt. I guess they're looking for bugs and gravel and stuff and then they rinse their little beaks out in the water. Who's going to be first to jump in? Oh, there we go. 